Hello and welcome to a demonstration of the Innovate platform, an integrated solution built to improve the way organisations manage their IT and test environments, data and releases. In today's session, I'll be focused on the first of our solution verticals, that is environment management, an area of IT delivery that typically causes a lot of challenges as an organisation's IT environments are invariably complex. Think of it as a web of people, process and products that need to manage our environment instances, components, microservices, interfaces, relationships, versions and the data. All of which may reside on different infrastructure, for example on-premise, in a private or public cloud, or perhaps within a container orchestration framework. I'll now cover how the Innovate solution can help you in environment modelling and knowledge management, planning and coordination including calendaring, demand and usage management for your environment bookings, lean service support, automation and provisioning, and value stream insights, and how our platform helps uplift environment and system visibility, promotes real-time decision making, accelerates software delivery velocity, and reduces IT costs. Modeling and knowing what your environments look like is the foundational building block for good environment management. The Innovate solution provides various dashboards, reports, and management views to visualize your environments. In this example, we're looking at an environment dashboard that is showing us how many environments, IT systems, environment instances of these IT systems and the underlying components, such as the servers and services that make up these environment instances. We can also see the composition of our environments and how many are hosted in cloud providers such as AWS and Azure, as well as any unavailability which we need to be aware of due to planned or unplanned outages. Environments can also be visualized in various topographic views, such as by system. In this example, I see what servers make up my group data warehouse system in my system integration test environment. And on the right hand side, I can see tag, technical specification and other key information that I can optionally deep dive on to see more information on any of the configuration items. We can also view topography by environment group or lane. In this example, I'm viewing my system integration test environment, which is showing me end-to-end -end connectivity between the various systems in this environment. Another example of environment topography is by project. Here we can see the systems in green are in scope of the selected project, and the ones in blue have been deemed out of scope. This can help testing and QA teams identify where there may be opportunities to improve quality by testing dependent applications that fell outside of initial testing scope. Environment calendaring and proactively planning and coordinating your environment release and data operations is paramount to uplifting operational efficiency and promoting better transparency. Here I can use the Innovate solution to visualize my environment events such as deployments and refreshes as well as any release sprint activities, environment bookings or other scheduled events. An event can easily be created by a user automatically via Innovate's Open REST API for example, by my deployment or CI CD tool when a pipeline is run. There are also various other views such as this insight report that allow you to view and manage your events and see information such as planned start time, the instance the event is for and the version and event status information. Test environment bookings allow an organization to allocate and reserve environment resources to promote demand awareness and identify usage. Here is one of many booking and utilization reports. This report is showing me bookings by environment. I can show all bookings or filter by a specific environment or system. On the left I can see what system instances each project booking has requested and the Gantt schedule shows me the status of the request, whether it's red, pending confirmation, green, confirmed or grey, completed. Booking workflows are easily configurable by your administrator and can send email, Teams or Slack notifications. Another useful booking reporting angle is bookings by system. This allows an application team or owner the ability to see what projects are using their environments so they can schedule downtime or maintenance without conflicting with the environment consumers such as the project development and testing teams. Environment bookings can be requested or serviced via the solution's tailorable booking forms. In this example, we have a self-service form where a project or test manager can shop for environments that meet their requirements. I can enter the systems or applications I'm requesting and either do a flat 24-7 booking between two dates or do a reoccurring time slot based booking. I can then search for environment instances that meet my requirements and book these out. I can then see any potential conflicts with other projects over the same environments. Another important area of good IT and test environment management is IT service management. Ideally IT service management and non-production should be lean and non-workflow heavy. The Innovate solution caters for this via simple and tailorable forms. 
In this example, instead of self-servicing booking requests, we could simply raise a ticket to the environment management team with the details of the environment requirements. Form fields and types are easily managed in the administration area. Service requests, change records and incidents can also be viewed in various other dashboards, reports and insight views, allowing users to filter and or deep dive on any tickets. Innovate can also be easily integrated with popular IT service management tools such as ServiceNow, Jira and many others. In order to continually improve efficiency and reliability, organizations should baseline their operations and look to streamline those operations by leveraging automation and integration with tools and information sources. The Innovate DevOps library allows scripts in virtually any language to be executed on demand, on a schedule, or as part of a run sheet. Scripts can be your own in-house written scripts or utilize the hundreds of integration templates that are available from Innovate for integrating with many popular industry tools. One-way or bi-directional integration can be performed either as a pull or a push using Innovate's open RESTful APIs and webhook triggers. As an example of a run sheet, here I have a deployment run sheet with many tasks. Tasks can be manual or automated. Automated tasks can call scripts from the DevOps library or they can send out approval requests, for example via an email or simply send a notification that an event has commenced via email or a collaboration tool such as Microsoft Teams or Slack. Tasks can be assigned to teams and cross-task dependencies can also be added. When it comes time to action a run sheet, users can manage their run sheet task via a Kanban where tasks can be dragged between statuses and if applicable run a DevOps script. Once completed, the task will be automatically moved to the corresponding passed or failed status and tabular style views are also available for managing run sheets. Last but certainly not least, Value stream insights are key to effective decision making and continually measuring and improving your environment management practices. The Innovate solution has various dashboards and insight reports out of the box. In this example, I'm in the system insight report, which has shown me the number of instances, microservices and components for the selected system. I can also add labels to a system for reporting and classifications. I can also see the health status and current version of all my instances of this system, any tag information, and if I scroll down I can see microservices and component level information and any associated environment events and bookings. Measuring environment utilization can help identify idle resources that can ultimately be switched off or decommissioned to save on infrastructure licensing and service spend, ultimately saving an organization millions, if not tens of millions per annum. Deployed version reporting helps me identify what environments have what release deployed and if there is a new release on its path to production. I can also change the report to show me by other filters, grouping or levels of detail. For example, show me version at the microservices level. Environment comparison or drift reporting is also a capability of the solution. Here I can compare my development and test environments to production. The report is also highlighting to me important comparison information such as differing version information via the red underlines. In addition to out-of-the-box reporting, the Innovate solution has its own native reporting engine so you can build your own information walls, dashboards and reports using Databricks. Here I can select my template where I want the custom dashboards to appear, who will have access to it and the Databricks I want to use. So in summary, the Innovate Environment Management Platform is all about getting on top of your IT and test environments by better understanding your environments, planning and coordinating your operations, manage environment demand and contention, control support needs like changes and incidents, standardizing your environment release activities, automating and codifying your environment release operations, using deployment or implementation planning to ensure production day success and providing real-time value stream insights to drive continuous improvement. The Innovate solution provides out-of-the-box capabilities across each of these dimensions, which leads to faster projects, faster operations, better quality and better control of your IT expenditure. Thank you for watching this quick demonstration. Visit Innovate to kickstart your environment release journey today.